been about two weeks since I left Mexico. And before I left, my neighbors threw me a going away party. It was a lot of fun. What did that younger guy <laughs> After I left, I flew from Cancun to Tijuana. It's been almost two weeks since I left Mexico. Went to San Diego, rented a car, and I started to get my stuff together. Driving through California on my way to Mammoth Lakes. I just picked up a whole bunch of hiking gear because I'm going to be hiking pretty soon. I got my first round of gear. Okie dokie. So I'm just outside of uh, Lone Pine camping for a few days. Hit up uh, Mammoth, Mammoth Lakes. Do some snowboarding there. But uh, gear that I'm going to be like literally living in for the next almost a year. I'm super excited. So let's have a look. Gear, baby. Last but not least, poop scoop. Basically, I just camped for a few days. I met up with my friends, Kat and Eric. They're so awesome. Like, I've known them for a long time. And uh, this year, like, they got a van and, uh, like, a pass. And they're, they're just, like, snowboarding around America, basically. And, yeah. So, like, we just camped for one night, I think, or two nights. I can't remember. Um, in Lone Pine, California. And then we headed to Mammoth to do some snowboarding. They're so cool. Oh, it should be just not staged, I guess. Right, let me get up. Let me get up and steer. Boy, <laughs> I get shocked now all the time. Oh, you get shocked at you. Like the fucking leprechauns that come out from the fucking... Hey. That's a video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to self-driving cars, so I can look around. First day up, like, conditions on the mountain were really good. The only, the only bummer was uh, um, up at the very, very top, because it was super windy, and I just come back from Mexico, so, <sighs> so it was really cold, and they're like pros, and they wanted to go up, you know, all the way to the top more than once, and I was like, no. No, you guys can go, but I'm not going. So, you know, when I snowboard, I just like to cruise. But I still love it. Like, I love snowboarding. But, I guess, skiers. I got it. The, the baby park, which I think is over there. Yeah. And maybe this one. Like we found a place to park, and it was kind of, it was kind of like, uh, yeah, it was like in the middle, like by all these hot springs and stuff, and it's very popular, like more popular than I could have possibly imagined. The Japanese friends are that much hotter? The Japanese friends are that much hotter? Yeah, that's, these are the conversations we have. <laughs> a cool idea for a segue here, but now I realize that it really has no relevance. I do have a lot of gear. <laughs> this is going to be on the YouTube channel. It's supposed to be here, right? 
for me. There you go. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> now it's hot as day. What's that? Shotzi? What about it? Oh, it's a, it's a German word and it's like a nickname for castles basically. Oh, really? It's treasure and Shotzi is like honey. Uh huh. So it's like a term of endearment. Huh? It's like a term of endearment. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. And our first day there, like all these people like drove out and they just got, like, got stuck. They continued to get stuck in this puddle. We almost went across it, but I have I had a two-wheel drive vehicle and their van is two-wheel drive. I mean, I got stuck in the stinking snow and it was only like an inch deep. So yeah, it was wild. Like one truck even rolled over on its top that first night. So yeah, it was really fun just to like sit there and watch, like watch people get stuck. Very exciting. Here we track the wild abuse of American <laughs> in its place of... Yeah! And like, what's up? I'm cool, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> They're going to run slow, like, not YouTube quality. <clears throat> so far. I'd rather see that GMC van do it. Right. So just for context, <clears throat> we're near, like, a confluence of hot springs in this area. And uh, like there's just in and out traffic here all the time, hanging out with Cat and Eric in their in their van. <laughs> and all this shit that's in the background. We got Moon Pie, we got Che Guevara, we got Black Box, Brown we got Brown Maps, Brown. everything. <clears throat> and free entertainment. Like, who needs to pay for cable when you have this? So the that's problem is, uh, I fucked up. I should have been filming like this the whole time. Okay. Oh uh, no! Just doing it for fun. Like it. He's like, mm, I looked. I didn't like it very much. Are you taking video again? Yeah. Damn it. It's because I keep fucking up. Yeah, I keep doing it. Tone. I keep like, doing it the wrong way, man. Yeah, we're recording your voice. <laughs> I keep forever. I keep doing it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard. Nobody. Yeah. yeah he's yeah, get, it. Back. Oh get it. <laughs> <laughs> that van, like, it totally just rode off into the sunset. Victorious. Do Are it. You it. Shut it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need somebody to leave. We're partying without doing it. That's okay. He's gonna edit this out, but yeah. Oh, need somebody to leave. Come in. Come in. Hey, Dave's back. Woo! Back to being. So what, what's the narrative here? We got bikes. The narrative is it's gonna be real top of the if they even attempt it. Even if they're successful, it's gonna be funny. A little background story is that we've been camped out here for like three days. And uh, the first day there were quite a few vehicles stuck. One actually flipped over onto its top. Oh, it sounds exciting. Uh oh. We got a swerver. <laughs> Skillful off-roading. It's, it's a scouting adventure, Cat. I found the left to be much better. <laughs> oh, no, they're going the bicycles. Oh, are they? Are they? Oh, yeah, do it, bicycle man. I wish I see them flopping around. <laughs> On the left. Oh, turning around. Turning around uh, Japanese style. I think the coolest thing about being out in Mammoth is like, you know, you have the mountains right there, and then you have just like endless desert. And the great thing about the desert, you know, which is also cool when you're hiking, is that you have endless sunsets, you know? Like, just panoramic sunsets. It's pretty incredible, to be honest. Oh, I need a pillow. Look at this sunset. This is like 360 degrees of snow and pink cotton candy clouds. Other oh, more dark ominous clouds. A stop sign, a car, and just amazingness.
Only thing that would make it better is if I was in a hot spring. But they're all full, which is the problem with Mammoth, Mammoth Lakes. So though, like I really enjoyed um, Mammoth and snowboarding. I had to go north because I have a storage unit there and that's where a lot of my stuff is. That's actually where I got this from. It's been storage for a long time. Well, at least that's what I thought. It was actually uh, in a tree. I left it in a tree. The one saw my good friend Bobby. Bobby, I've known Bobby for like 10 years now. Yeah, right around 10 years. And she's really cool. And it's amazing how few people like have scales. But I knew she would have one because she's meticulous like that. So I went to her house and I weighed myself. Thanks, Bobby. Okay, so the last time I got on the trail, just before I got on the trail, I weighed myself. I was about 185 pounds. So I'm getting ready to weigh myself again. See that? My friend Bobby is a... Uh, Bobby's, Bobby's filming for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so last time I was 185, and I started training, putting on weight. So let's see where, see where I'm at. Okay. Hundred eighty pounds. So yeah, I think. Anyway, that's how you train. So how long are you gonna hike this time? Uh, eight months. Eight months. Eight months. Eight thousand miles. Oh my yeah. god. Three big trails. All right. Yeah. Signing off. Signing off.